Welcome to our Bach Factory program on Cantata 129, Gelobet sei der Herr, mein Gott. It is a choral cantata per omnes versus, which means that Bach took a choral text, in this case written by Johann Olearius, in its entirety and put it into music. No add-ons, no recitatives, anything but the uh, choral text. So I would like to start right away, Rudy with a glimpse, a feeling for the uh, chorale that is the basis of this cantata. And you hear, ladies and gentlemen, far behind the, the, the bells of the Sankt Mangen church. I think that's quite suitable for this chorale. <laughs> Mein Gott, mein Licht, mein Leben, mein Schöpfer, der mir hat, mein Leib und Seel gegeben, mein Vater, der mich schützt, von Mutter, Leibe, Hang, der alle Augenblick viel Gutes an mir getan. For a minute, I had the impression you were playing the wrong cantata. I'm on the 129, the first stanza gelobet, sei der Herr. And I thought you were saying, was frage ich nach der Welt? 94. <laughs> You're right, yeah. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that's a very interesting fact. You've got the hymn book for the whole community. And in the hymn book you find the, the well-known hymns you've been singing since generations. And this melody, dee da da dee da da, with a beautiful triad, dee pom pom dee pom, and then the, the, the culmination, dee gelobet sei mein Herr. You also use that melody for other texts. That is a, that's a common rule in the, the Baroque time. So you were saying that Bach himself did not compose that melody? No. That's another good remark, uh, Schwann. A lot of people sometimes think in the Bach cantatas the chorale hymns are composed by Bach, but that's not the case. He takes them, and the people who are listening to the cantatas recognize the melodies and say, ah, oh, that's our mother milk we sipped since we were babies. So, knowing all that, why don't we just start with the first movement of the cantata? Gelobet sei der Herr, mein Gott, mein Licht, mein Leben. So here we are talking about, it's a text of praise, of course, we are talking about the Father, aren't we? What's happening musically in that regard? If we have a look. We've got the ritornello starts with the violins, the oboes. And then And then the orchestra gives the answer. real concerto grosso could be another Brandenburg. Yes, if you look at this, ja da da da, la da da da, da 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 da, tam pum pi, a triad, and then there's the culmination note to ti, da 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 di da di, da 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 da. And if you look at the choral melody, la di da di, the same triad, T, and here's the culmination point, B. A marvellous piece of music. And if we listen it to it now, you will also hear the cantus firmus, the melody comes in big, big, big steps. Tam, pam, pa, augmented in the soprano and a lot of praise in the other voices.
A brilliant music, Schwann, don't you think so? Brilliant music indeed. And if we now move on to the second movement, which is a bass aria, we find pretty much the same text. Gelobet sei der Herr, mein Gott, mein Heil, mein Leben, des Vaters liebster Sohn, der sich für mich gegeben. So we are now talking about the Son, about Jesus, aren't we, Rudy? And it starts with the same text. You could, of course, imagine why not take the same music, but it's completely different. Perhaps we listen to a part of it. Did you hear the lo a melisma, a coloratura on the word loben, praising? And you heard at the beginning, I would like to show you that. The waving, the silent waving of the three eight. And then you hear You've got the feeling often The Good Shepherd. It's Jesus coming down from heaven. One of the little details of this magic music, completely different as the first choir. If you think, and now this, but, but Schwann, could you um, perhaps read on or tell us a few key words of this second uh, stanza? Well, you mentioned uh, a part of it already, it's about Jesus coming down and one of the key ideas is of course that he came to redeem us. He is depicted as our Redeemer through his own blood. It's a very strong sort of expression, but yes, the crucifixion does not, uh, is not mentioned directly, but yes, the redemption is through his own blood. And if you listen now, what happens in that, what you were talking about, here's our bass singer, our cello player, and of course, the continuo, the organ, and the harpsichord. One. We had God Father, God the Son, and now what's coming? The Holy Spirit. Yes, exactly. The Holy Ghost. And you know, uh, Mr. Bean, Mr. Bean says the Holy Goat. <laughs> we call him the Heilige Geist or the Del Spiritus. El Espiritu Santo. Yeah. What was happening? Well, what should happen? in a third stanza. Perhaps you could read a bit of text for us in German. Do you think it's the same text? 
Well, well, I might start with the same idea. That's, by the way, a great rhetorical idea to say, I start every part of my speech with the first same sentence. That gives a clear order. I'm talking about the same, and then afterwards I do the differentiation. So, of course, gelobe sei der Herr, mein Gott, mein Trost, mein Leben. The difference was mm. mein Trost, I think. Trost, trost uh, my comfort. Mein Comfort, the first time was mein Licht, mein Light, mein Enlightenment. The second time was mein Heil, my salvation, and now is mein Trost, my Comfort. And then a few key words for the Holy Ghost. Des Vaters werter Geist, den That's mir der Sohn gegeben. Also the Son, Father's Son, gave me the, the Spirit. Der mir mein Herz erquickt. Gives me a good feeling in my heart. Der mir gibt neue Kraft. I have new forces, new energies. Now, der mir in aller Not Rat, Trost und Hilfe schafft. And in all the catastrophes of my life he helps me. It's a great text. I think Johannes Olearius is a fine, fine poet. And with this beautiful melody together, Although you realized in the number two, you didn't hear anything of the melody. That was a trick of Bach. And also in the third piece, you don't hear anything of the melody. You've got a new idea. It goes to minor. We've got a soprano, we've got a violin, we've got a flute, and we've got the continuo. And let me play that for you. And the sing does di da 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 di da da di da di 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 di. And the instruments do i da di da 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 di da 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 da. That might even be the wings of the Holy Ghost, but I don't know if the Holy Ghost has wings or not because you never see him. He's like the wind; he blows where he wants. Schwann, what do you think? Shall we listen to a few uh, parts of this beautiful uh, aria um, for soprano, traverse, flute, violin, continuo? Please, let's do it. Yes, this is the beautiful music of the soprano aria, which depicts the uh, Holy Spirit, completing therefore the idea of Trinity. But there is a very uh, particular part of this aria, which we didn't hear here, but where the text mentions the distress, the nought, and something musically uh, special is happening there, Rudy. Exactly, it's the Neapolitan uh, and the diminished chord. I would love to show you that part. I'm always impressed how Bach is capable of just bringing in through a few chords um, another atmosphere. And here you've got Dear me, give to neue Kraft Who gives me new energy Dear me, give to neue Kraft And then here Thematics Dear me, in all Not Rat, Trost und Hilfe schafft I'll just play the chords. This one here and this one here. Tear me in Alamut, Rat, Trost und Hilfe schafft. 
That's one of those little details we love to show you, ladies and gentlemen. But Chuan, you were just mentioning the Trinity. What's that for you, actually? This is a completely difficult theological theme. It is very difficult, and I'm no theologian, but it's something that has always um, um, struck me in a very special way. Because actually the Trinity was not conceived at the very early stages of, of Christendom. It was developed um, later on. So just to understand that the fathers of the church themselves were struggling with this idea is very impressive, isn't it? Yeah. So the Trinity is these three personas, if we are allowed to speak in theatrical terms, three personas that share the same essence of God. Yeah. Perhaps you look at the picture which you find here on the screen, and there you see the three of them. Uh, you can't say it's one face, it's three faces, but it's one face. And actually the, the Holy Spirit was a very important um, persona in, in the, in the theatre, if you rem remember the beginning of the, of the Bible, the Spirit hovering over the waters and God. And of course Christmas brought Jesus down to, to earth, that was the, uh, the Son of God, or so a, a divine person, being a human being, suffering, ascending to heaven. Then when Jesus said bye-bye to his disciples, he said, the Holy Spirit will be coming, and giving you comfort. And on Whitsuntide, the Spirit comes. And on Trinity, that is a, a Sunday, very important for the Lutherans, the three are one together. And so it happens in the next movement, in the Aria for Alto, <laughs> number four, where all three personas, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit come together in a very lovely six eight yeah. part yeah. aria absolutely listen a bit yes. in g major la ra 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 ri la ta ra ra da da ri na ra 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 ri 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 ta da 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 ri ta da 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 ri ra ra ri 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 you've got the feeling uh, you're in paradise the singer Gelobert sei der Herr, mein Gott, mein ewig liebet. Here again the triad. Dum ta, dum ta, dum ta, dum da da di di di. And the opening note. Di di. If you think of the chorale. Dum ta da di di di. You don't find the chorale, but it's somehow included in the music. Of Bach. And by the way, Rudy, the text that of course is very much the same, but it's not the same. Gelobet sei der Herr. Because the first time we heard it in the opening chorus was Mein Gott, mein Licht, mein Leben, mein Licht, my, my light, light, my enlightenment. The second time was Mein Heil, yeah. my salvation. The third time was Mein Trost. And now the fourth time. And now the fourth time is My God who lives yeah. in the eternity. It's a marvelous conception of the cantata, and of course given, like I said it before, through Johann Olearius, this famous theological doctor, who was so important for a lot of musicians too, and of course also for the development of the Lutheran church idea. Let's now listen to an excerpt of this wonderful aria. And like Schwann mentioned before, here you heard it, God, Sohn und Heiliger Geist, God, Son and Holy Spirit. So, concluding, now we could think the, 
the cantata is finished, but we see there's a bunch of musicians waiting to sing their Schluss chorale. And when I listen to this chorale, I sometimes think I'm listening to the Christmas oratorio. Yeah, <laughs> uh, you are absolutely right. The trumpets play interludes, play preludes, and the community, I could say, the choir, sings the last stanzas, perhaps you could read a few words. Mm -hmm. I love that very much, especially the mentioning of the angels. Dem wir das Heilig itzt mit Freuden lassen yeah. klingen. The Heilig itzt, what's that? Das Heilige, the, the Holy. The Holy, Holy, Holy. So that's the Sanctus. That's the Sanctus. Und mit der Engelschar Here they are. Das Heilig, Heilig yeah. singen. Den herzlich lobt und preist die ganze Christenheit. Yeah. So not only the community singing it, but we know that up there, that's anyway our imagination, that the angels will be singing in the beautiful Fortissimo. Listen to the end of the cantata. Thank you. 